Well, let's take a look at some backflow due to back pressure. And here we have a chemical mix tank. This would represent our agricultural uh, chemical mix tank. And you can see that it provides chemical to crop dusters. And this tank is pressurized with an air compressor. And it takes water from the uh, potable water system and goes directly into the tank. So when we open this valve, we have cross-connected the systems and the water flows into the tank. Well then we shut the valve and then the air compressor kicks on and the tank is pressurized. So as this tank pressure increases to a pressure that's greater than system pressure, any leak by through that valve will allow flow of that chemical into the potable water system. So this is an example of backflow due to back pressure. An air gap in this situation would solve this problem and prevent backflow. Another example of backflow due to back pressure is in a manufacturing plant where they reclaim their water. So during the manufacturing process their water gets reclaimed and it gets pumped back to the process. So they're reusing their water in the system. Well this works out well as long as the pressure of the public water supply is greater than the pressure of the reclaimed water system. Well if the water system or the, wa the public water system pressure drops you'll have backflow due to back pressure in that circumstance. So these are two examples of backflow due to back pressure. Now we're going to take a look at backflow due to back siphonage. So here we have a young couple driving down the street. They take out the fire hydrant and they cause a geyser in the street. Well this sudden uh, flow of water out causes a drop in pressure in the system which would cause a back siphonage condition from a high-rise building. So if you have a system, a water system in this high-rise building. Uh, it could be a janitor's closet with the hose stuck down into the sink or it could be some type of laundry system that's connected to the potable water system. With that pressure drop in the main portion of the water system that would cause a siphon or back siphonage into the water system. So that's an example of back siphonage.